Sometimes it's hard to do a subtraction problem, especially when there's some tricky zeros in there. Here is one way to subtract across a middle zero. Think to yourself, 0 minus 2, can you do it? No. When you go to borrow from your tens, you have a zero there. One thing we thought about today, if your neighbor is a zero, check the next neighbor over. And we call this squaring off. Instead of thinking that you have no tens to borrow from, think of it as 50 tens. 50 tens minus 110 is 49 tens. And then our zero, we have a 10 to give to. 10 minus 2 is 8. 9 minus 3 is 6. 4 minus 1 is 3. And 1 minus 1 is 0. This is what we call squaring off when you go to borrow and your neighbor is a zero. Zero minus seven, you can't do it. Your neighbor's a zero, you still can't do it. But you have a two here. So you box this and it's a 20. So we have 20 tens. Cross it off, 20 minus one is 19. Now give your 10 to the ones column. So 10 minus seven is three. 9 minus 7 is 2. And you cannot take 1 minus 7 away. So you check here, cross off this, that becomes the 7. The one that you took away, put it right here. 11 minus 7 is 4. 7 minus 5 is 2. And your total is 2,000. 423.